House. Shh. I'm with a patient. Sleep study. You drugged him? I didn't say the study was voluntary. I think you're sick. Look, is I'm sleeping in the clinic like I always do? Slow reaction time. Because I just woke up from sleeping in the clinic like I always do. You're forgetful. Sorry, what did you say? You forgot that we're supposed to have lunch? I didn't forget. I was sleeping in the clinic. I'd like to run some tests. For what? Where's this coming from? Hepatic encephalopathy. I've watched you destroy your body with Vicodin for years. I'm surprised your liver's lasted this long. I'll do the examination myself. While having you juggle my jewels sounds interesting. There's no such thing as friends with benefits. It always gets weird. <sighs> oh good. Taub's cured the patient. I have to go to the bathroom. The bathroom's that way. You just ran in from that way. That one's been out of order for two days. I had to go up to the third floor. I'm not lying. It's out of order. I believe you. I'm gonna fix it. We could treat if he doesn't know he's being treated. Place his sponge bath. It would take too long to reach his bloodstream. What if we air slice steroids and blast the room? Speaking of which, it'd be too hard to get the prednisone concentrations right. No one fixes anything unless they have a compelling reason. So if we're gonna treat, we have to give him a compelling reason. Something that he wants more than an interview. Fire in the hole! I need to take a dump. Specifically, house's dump. You set this up? All it took was showing up two minutes late and a two dollar sign. Bile deposits are irregular. House's liver is failing. Cognitive impairment will get progressively worse. Cholesterol embolization. Are you even gonna acknowledge what we just told you? That you pilfered my poo-poo? Yeah, I was thinking it would be less awkward for all of us if we could just pretend that never happened. It's not an embolization. No instrumentation inside the arteries. Thank you for getting us back. And if we start you on treatment now, get you off Vicodin. It's the opposite of thank you. Pretty sure it ends in you. I know my body, I'm fine. The hemoglobinemia. I'm a test for G6PD deficiency. If you're not sick, then our tests accurate 99.5% of the time yielded a false positive three separate times. The odds of that are one in eight million. The test is accurate. Diagnosis isn't. Sample was obviously contaminated with other foods interacting with my liver enzymes. Now, can we talk about the sick patient? His clot dissolved. That could have caused a vasospasm. DIC could have been caused by bernard Soulet syndrome. And you're sick, and you have to do something about it. If we got a patient file with the same symptoms you're exhibiting. And the symptoms I'm not exhibiting? Jaundice, ascites, fetor hepaticus. We can't tell if your breath stinks because you've been popping mints like they're Vicodin. And you'd still diagnose hepatic encephalopathy. I know that because four doctors you train have unanimously diagnosed you with hepatic encephalopathy. Park's right. Treat the patient with heparin. Mm -hmm. 